On the northwestern coast of Africa lies Senegal, one of the world's poorest countries. The climate in Senegal is generally very hot, dry, windy, and prone to drought. The survival of most of its 13 million inhabitants relies on the working horses, donkeys, and mules who help them raise crops, transport goods, and transport people. Drought and low incomes result in less feed and water for the equines, and less money for good farriery, harnessing, and medicine. Some equine owners attempt to earn as much money as possible, even at the expense of their animals. Growing urbanization has led to more equines being used in cities, where the owners know little about animal welfare. As a result, nearly one million horses, donkeys, and mules in Senegal suffer under extreme conditions, failing health, and injuries. When people can't care for their animals, the animals can't care for their people. Brook USA supports efforts in Senegal to improve the welfare of working equines. A longer life and better service from a horse, donkey or mule means a better livelihood for many people of Senegal. Brook USA's partners train and mentor local harness makers, farriers and vets. They raise community awareness of the importance of equine welfare through meetings, radio, storytelling and song. They also work with the local and national government in Senegal and played a critical role in a newly formed bylaw on equine-drawn vehicles. The people of Senegal are already experiencing better lives through our support. Mustafa, who makes his living as a car driver, attended one of our meetings on equine welfare and now understands the value of a healthy donkey. He has started cleaning his donkey's hooves daily, trimming its hooves properly, and he built a shelter to protect his donkey from the scorching sun. As a result, his donkey is stronger and no longer suffers injuries caused by falling. Mustafa saves money because his donkey now needs fewer visits to the vet and he earns more business because his customers can see that his donkey is strong and healthy. With your support, we have been able to provide training to 20 vets on treating colic, provide mentoring for 16 veterinary technicians, provide training to two saddlers, two farriers, and mentor 10 more farriers, convince Senevet to import oral NSAIDs, which are much better than the widely available injectable forms, conduct a workshop for 30 youth around the age of 15 who learned the importance of equine welfare through role-playing, an art project, and song, Lobby to pass a new bylaw on equine drawn vehicles which embodies OIE standards. Organize presentations of the new bylaw to locals and authorities in Sokun and Mecca. Conduct workshops for local inspectors on OIE standards and the new bylaw to encourage complete implementation. With your help, we can reach more suffering equines. To make a donation or learn more, visit brookusa.org.